Hey, welcome, welcome back, back to Meet the Mason. Thank you guys for joining us again. <laughs> so today we are back because we took a little breaky break. Yeah. Yeah. We did. We didn't leave, but we just took a little break. <laughs> anyway, we're back with a new series called Refresh Your Home. So as you can tell, we have, you know, a new backdrop. And um, we have quite a few different areas that we decided to um, just refresh in our home. And yeah. we just wanted to share with you guys what it looked like. We'll just have a series of what it looked like, what we did, how we got to it. And today we wanted to share three reasons why you should refresh your home. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about what our house looked like before, like how we felt in it. Are we showing before and after pictures? Yeah, I guess y'all want to see some before and after. We're going to throw in a couple of them. It was... It was pretty plain. Yeah. Like literally blank walls, blank this, blank that, and a lot of blanks. Yeah. And the reason why is we've been in our house for, it would be five <laughs> years in December. Right. And we had did, honestly, River, I think River's room was the first room that we like fully decorated. Yeah. We were so excited. Um, and so we did that. But then, you know, throughout the time, like we just never really decorated our house. Like we had furniture. But we just never, yeah. you know, decorated. We, we yeah. more so did stuff out the house, like traveling and stuff like that. Yeah. And our house was more so functional. It's like, hey, right. we're really just coming here to <laughs> eat and sleep, you know. So it's like it really didn't matter. But now it's like, hold on, you know. It does matter because we're doing more work. Um, hold on, let me grab my son. Yes, Levi is down here. So you guys have He's, seen him. He has a while. play mat right here. Yes. <laughs> You want to see everybody? I told you it was going to be in a video. I just didn't know you really wanted to be in here. As soon as we decided to record y'all, both of my kids woke up, so. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it's part what of it is. It's part yes. of the game. It's Familypreneurs, that's all Yeah, family familypreneurs. Familypreneurs. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. So this is Levi, and what were you saying? Oh, um. My house was pretty functional. Yeah, it was functional. So our goal was to spend more of our more of our time out of the house. Like yeah. we were glad that we had a place to stay and an investment and this and that. Okay. But we wanted to travel the world. And yeah. we did that. And now mm -hmm. we still have more places to go. But now it's like, hey, let's um make the house a home. Mm -hmm. Which we made the house a home. You mm -hmm. made the house a home. Um but now let's make it more appealing. And uh with going 100% full time as entrepreneurs, yes. it's like, hey, you know, when I, I've been working at home for the last couple of years and Kiara has been maybe like the last Sparkling. year and a half or so. Mm -hmm. And we still had the option to go into the office and to go right. into um, the different facilities spaces, and yeah. different spaces. And at those spaces, it's like, okay, well, you know, that's, that's the one we take more serious. But before we made the transition to go full time, it's like, hold on, let's take ourselves more seriously because at the end of the day, if we're setting up all of our time to be strategic and to be uh, intentional for someone else and building their environment. I think you're creeping into what we're about to talk about, the three reasons. What? Look at you, you're just jumping ahead. I think that kind of sprinkles into why they should do it. It's a nice... So, okay, you're trying to segue. And I'm look, thinking about editing Well, just tell me when to be quiet. <laughs> this is my time to be quiet? Yes, this is your all time right. to be quiet. Well, I had something really important to say, but she said be quiet. So I'm going I'm to be quiet. <laughs> Nonetheless, guys, we were not particularly in love with our space, and so we decided um, to refresh it. And the like three that. reasons we why we weren't in love with our space, yeah. we were in love in our space. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. That was good. Anyway, so it's true, and um, it was very functional. And then me just having the most of my life, I lived in apartments or I rented, and so even growing up, we didn't have our own house per se so I just always looked at it as you know I'm not gonna be here permanently there's no point in changing everything and making everything pretty just to have to put it back and right. that mindset rolled into us being homeowners and still doing the same thing when it's like we don't have a lease like to get yeah. out by like let's yeah. live in this space and enjoy this space right and so we're both military it. brats my route was a little bit different than yours but um like we had we moved a lot like I went mm -hmm. to four different high schools I went to like a lot of different locations and stuff to travel and all this type of stuff. So it was like, oh, okay, well, we're leaving. Well, I'm glad I didn't put anything on the wall. If I did have anything on the wall, it was like a poster with tape and I could just peel it off because I knew I would have to repaint or patch holes. So I didn't want to keep doing that every year. Mm -hmm. So now coming here, it's almost the same thing, but different. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, hold on. We actually, 
are gonna be here for a while. This right. is the longest I've lived anywhere. Like, right. <laughs> anywhere. My entire life. I've never lived anywhere for five years, period. Not wow. happening. So it's like, wow, we experienced that together. Mm -hmm. And as we're experiencing that, um, like you said, Rivers Wall was like the first touch, and we yeah. kind of let that go, what, almost three years ago. Now she's almost yeah, three. She's so, three so for the last three years, we haven't really touched anything as far as. Um, Aesthetics is more so just functionality mm -hmm. and now it's like hey, you know what? Let's make our environment what we know we can do with it mm -hmm. and more right. So it's been fun. Yes. Are y'all so, ready? It is gonna be a couple part series. I don't know if it's gonna be like a three or four part series mm -hmm. But in this series we're gonna talk about why you should do it in the next series We'll talk about what we actually did yeah. um, To achieve the looks that we wanted and then we may do like a DIY vlog with you because we kind of documented this whole process mm -hmm. It's been months guys. Um, we just never really talked about it, but now we got a couple spaces that yeah. are done So anyway, let's get on to three reasons why you should refresh your home guys so a uh, number one why you should refresh your home is because your outside world affects your inside world yes it does so you guys ever heard like if you look good you feel good that's kind of how it is with your home like if your house looks good then you'll feel better entering to it dwelling there yeah. being there so you know decluttering your space is so important that's yeah. kind of like number one what you should do but that's another video but decluttering it so that you can have clarity that really does impact your internal mood your mental health your emotional health and so right. it's just when you see a pretty space that you really love mm -hmm. um it just brings out the best in you but you ever seen like you come into the house and everything is messy, dishes aren't washed, you immediately have an attitude. Like, I'm just <laughs> mad. Like, nothing's done around here. I got right. all this stuff to yeah. do. And that, <laughs> you know, it really does affect what is happening on the inside of you. So when you have a clean, beautiful space, you'll feel better on the inside. And that's just, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really much to add to that. Right. When you say that's what it is, it's like, all right, well, Levi, you ain't got to say, close your mouth, close my mouth. Yeah. So, number two. Um, how you design your house actually affects how you treat yourself and how others treat you. Yeah. And the reason why that's so important is, for an example, when you have on something, let's use me as an example. Mm -hmm. If I have on swim trunks, when people see me, they expect me to either be going to the pool, going to the beach, or coming mm -hmm. from one of those two. Right. And when people come to your house, if they see what's on the wall, they expect what they can and can't do here. What they can and can't say. It gives a whole mm -hmm. tone about what you have on your wall as far as what's allowed. For right. example, if you go into a restaurant and they say close at nine, they know at nine o'clock, you either gotta be getting out or be <laughs> out. So if you got a rule on your wall when it comes in and says, hey, take off your shoes, don't be coming in here with your shoes on, you know. And the walls speak for you. So what you have on your walls literally do relay a message. And it's not just to your visitors, it's to you as the resident. So when I have on the wall, that I'll never miss prophetic timing, that tells me that I'm always on track. Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna quit because every step that I'm taking is on the right path. It's getting me to where I need to go. Okay. When I see that I have a goal or I'm blessed or I need to pray, whatever mm -hmm. case may be, I have these different things around the wall. It's a reminder that yeah, I'm blessed. So to me, that means something. It's not just, oh, bless, yeah, people say that. No, it means I'm empowered to prosper. Mm -hmm. I can make it, I can win, I can continue or like the last one I'll just mention for now, is pray. It mm -hmm. reminds me that, hey, I know I'm doing stuff, I know I'm blessed, I know I'm empowered to prosper, all that stuff is great, but I still need to pray, not only for myself, but for others. How can I make a change with the words that I'm saying? So the words on my wall are impacting what I think, what yeah. I feel, and how that ricochets to everyone else. Mm -hmm. So when we have visitors and they come in and they see, the first thing they see is pray. Or well, the first thing they see is blessed. So mm -hmm. first thing they see is Mason on the wall, wherever case may be. It's like, whoa, hold on. You take ownership here. You have authority here. Yeah. And that speaks through the walls mm -hmm. to us. And it makes a huge difference. Gotcha. I got more I can add to that if you, if you got space <laughs> and time. But, you know. I think that was great, babe. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but it's absolutely true. And just on the opposite end, if you come into a space and, you know, invite visitors over and you have everything everywhere and it's just a junky mess they ain't taking off their shoes why it's already right. dirty like what's the point you know what i'm saying and hey, don't. <laughs> <laughs> now what i can say about us we have different philosophies than you know everybody else about you know your home I <laughs> <laughs> 
they not taking off their shoes is already dirty. <laughs> Woo! Nonetheless, so back to what I was saying was we do have, you know, we don't have the philosophy that everything should be perfect at all times. Our house is like hardly ever perfect at all times. Right. I believe your home should look like it's lived in. Like we have yeah. little kids. This is their space. This is yeah, their yeah. home. I, they, You see their toys around the house. Why? Because it's it's our space. Now, yes, we do clean up and we tidy right. up, but it's not hidden. It's not like we don't want our family space to be a hotel room because that's not what it is. Um, it's really a place where we can be a family and have yeah. fun. So um, that's our, our you know spiel on that. So we don't have everything perfect at all times. No, we don't. Right. But we do want to make sure that we create a space and an atmosphere for people to know that when you come here, this is a house for the Lord. Yeah. Like we have um, one of our walls, maybe we can show you a picture. It says Bethel or Bethel, which means the house of God. Mm -hmm. And so people know that automatically. You ain't coming up in here cussing. You ain't coming up here bringing drama here. Like this, this speaks for us. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so, I'm gonna play that drama yeah, game. We'll leave that there yeah. and go on to our next point. Number three of why you should refresh your home is because it increases productivity. Yes. Now, as you guys know, during this time, a lot of things have changed. And I know for some people, they're working from home now mm -hmm. or they may um, they may have been put out of their home. So they're just in, they have been put out of their home. So they're just in their house more often than not. Um, and I'll say tremendously, when we changed our wall, it's like we took our business more seriously. Yeah. We took our brand more seriously and we we're like you know what this is who we are this is who we want to be mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and decorate like we're the people that we want to be on the inside and then you'll just become that yeah. so you're more productive you're getting more clients you're you know if you work from home when they see a space um, like our clients we do a lot of zoom calls or X Y and Z or we're meeting people over the phone but when they see a space that looks put together that looks nice now they want to take you seriously now they want right. to buy from you because they're like wow that looks like excellence. Yeah. And I think that's really important because when you're creating that space and creating that environment, you do take yourself more seriously. And when you walk in the office, it's like, hold on, no, it's time to go to work. Mm -hmm. Like if I go back to corporate America, which I don't plan to go back to corporate America, because this is corporate America. Um, <laughs> but when we have office presentations and different things, when you walk in the office and you see chandeliers and you see a secretary at the desk and you see a nice coffee stand or a nice tea stand, it's like, oh shoot, all right, mm -hmm. this is nice. You know, right. everything is well put, whatever the case may be. We brought that stuff home. We right. got our coffee maker, we got our chandelier, we got our this, we got our that. So it wasn't, it's a light structure. You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> yes. the thing once you walk in. But yeah, so we have the, the essence of those pieces. Now obviously we're talking about how to enhance them. So as this all plays out, you wanna take them? Mm -hmm. um, I was having a moment, but I guess I he wants to be with my me. So yeah. Yes. All right, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> Who do you look like? Mommy or daddy? Thank you. What? How you gonna Thank pick you. daddy? You look like your mommy. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, give me some milk right now. Yeah. Anyway, so, guys. Um, so yeah, I'll tie this up because he's he's ready to rock and roll. But nonetheless, it makes a huge difference on how you prepare and your productivity. Yeah. And then not only that, um, speaking of pro productivity, when you have an excellent environment, it helps you to stay organized, mm -hmm. and that productivity goes directly into you making more money because mm -hmm. not just doing more work and being a busybody you actually make more money because your stuff is organized you know where everything was left mm -hmm. you know where you can pick it up from next and then once you pick up from the last step it's like oh the next step is to call and get the transaction oh the next step is to fulfill the order oh the next step is to boom boom and everything is based on the next step and then you create this system you create this cycle and you're in your environment and it flows with you. Like right now, we got stuff on the on one of these screens over here, and it's just flowing, and it's like a, a fluid motion going on. And you create that around your house. When I get in this room, this is what's happening. Yep. When I get in that room, this is what's happening. And it just makes a perfectly well-rounded picture to go around the house. Yeah. So. so you guys, so you guys, I hope you enjoy this series of why you should refresh your home, and hopefully this jump starts you yeah. into refreshing your own space. I'm telling you, it's gonna make the world of a difference. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, we do have more parts to this series and we'll be showing you some spaces that we also refresh ourselves. Right. But if you have any questions specifically, go ahead and ask us. We would love to answer them, but also incorporate them in the video so that we can share that with other people as well. Yeah. Yeah. All 
Alright, see y'all soon. We love you guys and we'll see you later. Awesome. Bye.